It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see who can claim Big Apple bragging rights. It's the New York Jets and the New York Giants, coming up next. Just across the Hudson from downtown Manhattan, we welcome you inside MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico with Greg Oates and partner. A couple of teams that feel like they have all the pieces. Just came up short last year. They were so excited to get 2024 going and try to make another run to get into the postseason. Yeah, and both these teams absolutely fall into that category. And just last year, going into the season, Mike, not only did they have playoff expectations, but in a lot of ways, they had Super Bowl aspirations. They believe that if their things fall their way, they catch a break, they continue to stay healthy. The roster they have put together is a playoff roster, if not a Super Bowl roster. The veteran kicker, Graham Gano, puts it on the tee. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. They'll come up here first and 10. Now the former first round pick, Brees Hall. And he is hit behind the line of scrimmage. The defense with a statement on the game's first play. From the shotgun, it's a -Rod. He'll get it into the hands of Garrett Wilson. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. It's a gain of 23 yards. And the Jets first down. A give. Here's Hall. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Working out of the gun. It's right. Oh, the ball comes out. Ah, oh, but he'll gather it back in. Holding offense. They will run it over center with Hall. He'll get this ahead for about three. Micah McFadden, the linebacker, there on the tackle. Third and long. From the gun, Rodgers. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, and now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Ah, oh, that could have broken for a bigger return, but as it is, nice job getting his offense a start out past the 30-yard line. Half jumbo, half jumbo. Throwing on the first play is Jones. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. They just rush that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Throwing is Jones on third down. And that is incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and 
They're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. The Jets offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll search for the first point of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. We'll try again here. Second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. Third and five. Throwing Rodgers. They'll set up the screen to Hall. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. First down, Jets. Rodgers going up top again. He's got the longtime charger, Mike Williams. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. Here's first and ten. A give up the middle with Hall. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Here's a second and 12. Now Rodgers. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. And he's going to be brought down. They're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Here's Rodgers. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Now whistles and a timeout. And that is no good. He missed it. And this will stay a scoreless game. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. They'll come up here on second down and five. It's a gain of five. On the handoff, Singletary. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. C.J. Mosley, the veteran linebacker, there to shut it down. He'll come up to third and three. Now Jones on the bootleg. That is knocked away downfield, incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop, sets up fourth down. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Jets offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Taylor looking to throw. He'll find Hall out of the backfield. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Conklin goes in motion. He'll try to run for it with Hall. And he's got nowhere to go. The defensive front controlling the line of scrimmage there. And that is going to bring up fourth down. McKenzie to return. Oh, hello. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The Giants offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll begin with first and ten. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. They'll look to pick up the pace. 
That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. It leads to second and ten. On second down, it's Singletary. And a good run there on second down. A pickup of seven. It'll bring up third and three. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. Throwing now is Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Singletary. And he's going to have the Giants first down by a good couple of yards, as a matter of fact. They pick up six on fourth and four. Shotgun now for Jones. That's going to be caught by Darius Slayton. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Jones. This one caught at the four. And he's into the end zone. Grant Gano for the PAT. And he missed it. That's a rare miss for the veteran. And they are unable to add on the point after. So the lead stands at 6 0 as this one is kicked off. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touched back, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. Throwing, Taylor, and he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's going to keep it himself. Now the Jets going to use the first of their timeouts. Talk things over before third down. Now Taylor. Taking off. He'll try to get there. Now a timeout Jets. It'll be their second. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. To throw is Taylor. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And the defense has it. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Now Jones throwing on second down. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Here's a third and ten. Brings up a third down and ten yards to go. On third down, here's Singletary. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. And it sets up fourth down. Graham Gano on for the field goal. A 56-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants will open up a 9 to nothing lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. They'll get this up past the 20, and that's where they'll set up shot. The Jets offense is going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. Back to throw is Taylor. He's got a receiver, Alan Lazar. 
And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Taylor. To get this complete. It's Williams over the middle. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. Here's Taylor. Looking deep for Lazar. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go in the second half is underway. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The Giants offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The cushion is nine as they begin this drive with first and ten. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. First and ten at the 35-yard line. On first down, Jones. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Jones to throw on second down. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. It's pretty remarkable at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, any time a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws, you just don't see that very often, and it just seems like time and time again. And he will get into the end zone. You can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime, that other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for this second half. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Set to return is Xavier Gibson, and he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Jet. From 25, he'll go to work, first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Coming free is Conklin. They'll get about four here as he is taken down. They'll run. This is Hall. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. From the 39, here's a first and 10. He'll drop to throw. this one as down he goes work to do now as they come up on second and long on the run here's Hall he'll push forward for about a yard Brian Burns comes off the edge to make the play third and long they'll look to throw And on third down, that ball incomplete. On now comes the punt team for the Jets. As he'll come on to punt this one away. This is taken at the 25. And how about that? Nice return there. Picking his way up past the 35-yard line. Malik Neighbors heading out with the Giants offense for their next possession. First and ten.
throwing Jones. He's got his man, that's Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Jones now on first down. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Hovering very strong defensively. It's second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 40-yard line. Now a handoff to Singletary. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Third down and nine. A gain of one. Brings up third down and nine. Here's Jones to throw. He's got it at the seven. And he will score. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Graham Gano to kick off for New York. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. That one's going to skip into the end zone for a touchback. So now the Jets offense ready to take over once more. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. Back to throw. To the outside, complete. It's Wilson. Now a third and two. Again at six yards. And it's third down. So, three. Now on third and two, they'll try and throw for it. He'll try and get there on the ground. And he is going to have a Jets first down. At least it appears that way. He got it maybe by the length of the football. He's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not. And be taken down there. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Taylor looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. From the gun, Rodgers. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. Again, it's Singletary. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. A gain of two on the play brings up third and four. Shotgun now for Jones. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. Malik Neighbors, the intended receiver. And that'll set up fourth down. Graham Gano for the Giants field goal. A 44 yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Giants will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. Graham Gano 
I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. Xavier Gibson now to take it out of the end zone. And he will only be able to muster the 20-yard line on that return. The visitors' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. Things not looking good. But, and the rush gets home. He'll go down. Thank God. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. This will be returned from just beyond midfield. And it's a good return here. He's going to set his guys up with outstanding field position. The Giants offense ready to take over once again. They start with the lead and the football. They do so with tremendous field position. It's first and ten. They'll run once more with Singletary. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. That's a gain of three. Now third and five. They run here with Singletary. The handoff to Devin Singletary. Here is Graham Gano to try the field goal. This a 46-yard attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Giants will extend their lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? The visitors' offense make their way out, take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. And this is incomplete, but it looked like that defender got a head Offside. start. Let's Defense. check the call. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Play action now with Rodgers. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another set. Second and seven. Now Rodgers. You know, Mike, nice job here by the quarterback just understanding on these early downs, you just don't want to go backwards. So he's able to avoid the negative play, pick up a little bit, and mostly avoid the sack. Third and six. Rodgers. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. On comes the punt team now for the Jets. As this drive quickly stalled out, so he's on to punch it away. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Victory formation. Defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it. 
So it's a win for the men in blue. The Giants get it done. They put it all together against a very difficult opponent. There are not too many people who were giving him much of a shot coming in. But they rode the energy of this home crowd, got some big plays on both sides of the ball. They're going to come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Giants are winners, as we say, so long from MetLife Stadium.